Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is me, nom 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 69 here with another C++ and SDL tutorial, and today we will be using the SDL image library. We will be setting it up and we will be using it just to blow an image. So first things first, we're going to head inside our, uh, our, our previous SDL tutorial, and we are going to remove all the extra stuff we don't need. I want to get rid of this. Um, oh, this was a tutorial I never finished, the uh, rectangles one. Our event needs to go, all of our key state work needs to go, because I don't plan on moving the image. And then we want to get rid of blending our surfaces, so that we can get the drawing done. So, if we run this, we shouldn't have any problems, I don't think. I hope not, I hope something looks stupid. And if so, we can fix them. So here we do. Here we go. We just have it with our main game loop going, and yep, just initialize SDL. Bool running. Um, we set up our screen. Screen equals null. We quit the program. Our occurrence. If we quit, we exit the loop, and here's our drawing stage. So first things first, we need to download. What is it called? And give me a second. There we go. Never mind. Just had to throw something up on the other monitor. We need to Google SDL, and Simple Direct Media Layer is where we go to the livessdl.org. Now, there should be libraries. You're going to click that, and you're going to see a ton of libraries. We need to find SDL image, which we're going to have to do name and SDL image, if that'll show us anything. Nope. I Usually, I just click the link but we can go through the pages should be SDL something if I remember correctly SDL image huh hope I started recording this or else I'm going to feel stupid SDL console controls SDL terminal SDL buttons, SDL gamepad, SDL GL, probably OpenGL stuff. SDL mappy, MM, PP, Sprite, TK, Lucid, huh. SDL anim, audio in, bilinear blip pool, BMF, buffer, it should be here shortly. FM, GFX, <laughs> another page. We are SDL GUI image right here. I mean, open that up there now SDL image it was library for loading SDL it's on page one two three four five six page six of this stuff you can just open it up so it, says, it shows all of them and scroll down till you find it so we find this and we need to go to the which one is it that's not it source is that it binary oh here it is this one SDL image develop so download that all downloads it, I'm gonna cut this to the desktop cut mm, exit here minimize and paste and we're gonna create a new folder for it SDL image That's how I like to do it you come in here and extract all just extract it boom here we go so now we need to set up SDL image so first things first project SDL tutorial properties we need to go to VC in the properties VC C++ directories and we are going to edit this and we're going to create a new one we're going to go to our desktop go to SDL image SDL image VC image include there's nothing in the include so we just select the folder for the include okay now we need the live for it edit go there uh, my dropbox not there sdl image way down here sdl image live x86 because um that's the one i need so we have that now we need to go to the linker and edit our linkers and i haven't memorized this i think it's like sdl image dot live yep so we're going to type in sdl image dot live 
if that is correct. Okay, and we should be good to go. Include, we need to include SDL image dot H. And now if I hit F7 and I did everything correctly, we are good to go. So now we need to go into my Dropbox because that's where the SDL tutorial is. And here, debug. We have our test, we have both of our bitmap images. So I'm going to delete test two because we don't use that. And we're going to go to test one and we're going to edit with hopefully just regular paint, not paint.net. Nope, paint.net is what it wants to use. So we're going to open with paint XP. And we just use this paint. I have so many versions of paint. And we're going to file, save as, set up a bitmap, you're going to save it as a PNG. And let's modify it a little bit, give it a red background. Yeah, because I like red more. Save that. So have our PNG. We don't need this bitmap. Now see, here's the, uh, here's why we're setting up this, this whole library and what we've done. We're setting them up because SDL on its own cannot load PNG, JPEG images. It can only load, upload, uh, load bitmap images. You need the SDL image library in order to load any other uh, file formats of images. So we'll just come here under our event and do image stuff and do SDL image. Is it image? Image. I hope that's it. I haven't used SDL in forever. Oh, SDL surface. It's surface. Alright. Yep. And image equals IMG load test dot png and then we can just come down here and that should go away up and do sdl blip surface image null screen null and we should be able to load and run our game with the image on it so we come here Oh, that's the other thing. I forgot about that. We need our DLLs, our drivers. So, come here. See all these DLLs. I don't need these, the licenses. I don't need this the library. We just need to copy all of these. And you pro probably some people have a use for those, but I don't. I have, well, I have, haven't found one yet. Copy those in, and now we load it. And there's our PNG image. And we can, uh, open with uh, paint and file save as um, jpeg picture test.jpg jpg yep so we save it as test.jpg is it jpg or jpeg I want to uh, properties let's look at this jpg I so now we can do jpg and then f7 we can build it still forming a full link can I open for oh, okay did I cut all of those out of there or did I copy them oh I needed I needed those things in here oh no I deleted them shit <laughs> uh, anyways well it would load the jpeg if I I guess you needed those. Um, don't delete them. Probably followed me and did it. But, uh. Yep, so SDL image, that's pretty much the only function you need out of it is image load. And that will load any file format basically of any image. PNGs. I suggest PNGs for the uh, image file, file format. Um, I need to fix this real quick. Good thing I have another copy of SDL here. Do -do -do. SDL Visual Studio, never mind, do I have it actually? Or there's TTF. There's SDL image somewhere. We can go up. Um hmm. Oh, I can just re extract it from the the uh extract here. Do 
you did need this stuff. Copy. Mm -hmm. Paste. Copy and replace. Get that out of here. And now if we build it, we should be able to load that JPEG. And I'm sorry, I was being stupid there. I didn't actually know that. So that's something to be uh to be learned. And the JPEG does not load. Is it doing something funky? Well, my Dropbox doesn't like it. Oh, well, I deleted the JPEG image. That's why. Huh. All kinds of stupid stuff I'm doing. Anyways, so I will prove right now that you can open it. Uh, save as a JPEG picture. Save. And then we run this. And there it is, the JPEG. It just looks crappier. So, there you go. Um, using SDL image library, we can load up PNGs, JPEGs. There's a whole list of them. I don't I know them all off the top of my head. I'm going to use it for loading PNGs. So, that's it for the tutorial. Um, remember to like if you uh, liked it, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. See you guys later.